Yeah, 100 games. Um, as a kid growing up, playing for West Indies was always a dream. To get to 100 ODI caps it means a lot. Um, hopefully, I can be an inspiration to any young cricketer growing up. Uh, not just a cricketer, but any person who has goals in mind that you can definitely achieve. It's just about that desire and hunger to, to go out there and play for West Indies. Uh, most of our guys, they supported me from the get-go and most of them have been there as well. I think Rothman um, was one of those guys who, who supported me throughout my career. He didn't debut till like, I think it was 20, 2018, 20, 2017, 2018. But yeah, I got a lot of support from guys in the dressing room now and um, it's been a long time ago, but I'm sure that I, if I keep doing what I'm doing, I can get to 200. I wouldn't say that I was an automatic pick. I don't think anyone is an automatic pick in cricket, but um, I, something I always say whenever I play cricket or amongst any dressing room, I always say that you always miss the performances and not just necessarily the player. So just about doing whatever I can do to, to give the team the best, um, the best foot going forward. Um, for me, personally, I think that it was a shock, to, to be honest, but uh, something that I grasped the both hands, any, any challenge that I get in cricket, I always try to grasp it. I'm a batsman and I, I love batting. Um, I definitely pride myself on batting deep. Uh, batting as long as I can, giving my team the best option and best, best chance of winning games. And the only way you can do that is by batting deep. Um, now, my ability and I think my, one of my strengths, while that decreases, is to wear down bowlers as best as I can. Um, I think that I'm pretty adaptable, even though my role in this particular team is to try to, to absorb as much pressure as I can and take more pressure off the other batters down the line. So I just want to make sure that I can keep developing and learning as a batsman, as a cricketer, to continue to share my experience in the dressing room to anyone coming up under me, whether it's uh, through regional cricket or even the West Indian batters. So uh, share as much experience as I can, pull along, and I'm always willing to help. So any chance that I can share some, some experience, I'm definitely going to do it. Keeping was always a dream of mine too. I, I always love to be in the game and involved as much as I can. And whenever you're behind you, something you have to be switched on every single ball. So if I can wicket keep and open the bat in, that makes makes me have to be on the field for the entire game. If I do well, um, it's it's something that takes a lot of me. I, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's very challenging. It's tough on the body, but. That's where the fitness aspect comes into play. And yeah, it's a challenge that I will always continue to cherish and hopefully I can do my best for West Indies going forward. I've, I've had many opening partners. <laughs> Battle with Chris uh, is a different feeling, you know, just seeing him at the next end, you knowing he's a, a powerful figure. And I'm sure any bowler running into him will definitely be on the back foot even before they get to the top of their mark. Uh, just knowing that the ability he has to take any game away from the opposition, I guess that would definitely ease any pressure off of a batsman, especially in you know, a system where we have a lot of ball beaters, and I'm not necessarily rated as one of them. Uh, but yeah, just, just bottom him means a lot. Growing up watching cricket, he was one of those guys that you would want to idolize as well. Not necessarily a, a, a style of play that I emulate, but it's it's definitely a moment to cherish. Uh, like I said, I had many opening partners, but he was one at the top of the list. Glorious from Shea Hoop. A wonderful strike. And not the six in the innings. Gets this 50. This may sound strange, but honestly, I don't really look at the numbers. I, I always try to do the best for my team. And for me, as long as I can get the runs out there on the park, if I can take every single chance that comes to me, I think that's going to benefit the team in the long run. Um, the numbers and the milestones, I think, are definitely secondary. 
but I always enjoy them. Anytime you do something special, you have to cherish it, you have to enjoy that moment. Um, like I, to I told someone the other day, there, there's so many people who want to play for West Indies or haven't gotten the opportunity to play for West Indies. So being given that opportunity and doing everything that I can, I will always put my best foot forward for this team. The, the 146 I scored against Bangladesh, but it's not necessarily just the, the amount of runs that I got. We obviously crossed the line, but it was the impact that I had on the field while batting with Timo Paul, something that I definitely cherish a lot. Like just the way that I, I pulled him out of that situation because he kept reminding me that he wasn't striking the ball as well as he normally does. But I, the way that I calmed him down and just allowed him to be relaxed at the crease. And we got off the line, I told him that uh, I'm going to take 20 off the next over. So don't worry about it, just relax. I don't know how I was going to do it, but I just tried to give him that confidence to, to get off the line and it just so happened that I did. But um, I think that was one of the games that I, I would never forget. Just the way how we had to, to deal with that, the back end of that innings just to get over the line. It's, it's a must-win game for us to stay in the series. I think that the way we played and the character we showed to pull back India after that start they had, I think that, sh that goes a long way for us as a team. It's a very young team, a lot of experienced guys, so if we can use that experience that we had in the last game and build on it going forward, I think that we have a lot in store to show the fans and the opposition, any team that we come up against. Trinidad is a, is a party place and I, I'm sure they all enjoy their cricket. It's been a while since they got a chance to watch cricket live, so to give them some wins, they're going to enjoy it. So let's try to give them a party on the field as well. There's a lot to look forward to. It's my 100th game and uh, we definitely need a win to stay in the series, so I'm looking forward to that.